So in this session, we'll see an example for uh, equality condition, like natural reduction rule using this equality condition. So like I'll just first write the rule for equality. What is the rule? When there is an, like how can uh, equality insertion can be done? Like when there is nothing in the premise, we can equal it to two terms. Okay, so I can write it as T equal to T. This is your equality insertion condition. And for equality elimination, like when you want to eliminate an equality condition, in the formula, if it is given, like in your uh, uh, premises or some derivation while making this natural deduction, if it is given as T1 equal to T2, and there exists a formula where uh, we have substituted T1 instead of X, if that is also valid, we can rewrite the formula in terms of T2. Okay, so this is your equality elimination. I'll uh, take some examples and show you how it is actually working. So the first condition I'm just taking it is T1 equal to T2. So this can be written as T2 equal to T1. Okay, so the given premise is T1 equal to T2. This is your premise. And what I need is T2 equal to T1. Okay, so I want to make a substitution for this T1 as, um, okay, something in the reverse of it, okay? So I can write a rule as T1 equal to T1 as per your equality insertion. By, by your equality insertion, I can equate any term of the same. So I can write it as T1 equal to T1. And now it is mentioned that if T1 equal to T2, and given any formula is valid for T1, we can make a substitution of the T1 as T2. So in this formula, I have T1 equal to T1. And here, instead of this T1, I can make a substitution for T2. This is your equality elimination based on one and two. So I can rewrite the formula as T2 equal to T1. I hope you understand, see. When I write it as T1 equal to T1, this is your equality insertion. I can directly write, in, equate any two terms. Okay, they are going to be equal. And now it is mentioned that T1 is equal to T2 and this is also given. So here instead of both are valid. So now instead of this T1, I'm going to write it as I'm going to make the substitution as T2. So I'll get the resultant conclusion. Okay. I'll take one more example. T1 equal to T2 is given and T2 equal to T3 is also given. So what does that mean? You can write it as T1 equal to T3. So what are the premises here? T1 equal to T2 is a premise. And another premise is T2 equal to T3. This is very simple. This is also a given premise. Now, what is the resultant thing that is needed? I want to write it as T1 equal to T2. So in this formula, T2 equal to T3. Now, instead of T1, since I already know that T1 equal to T2, I can use this equality elimination. And instead of this T2, I can substitute it as T1. So that is, I can write it as based on one and two equality elimination, I can write it as T1 equal to T3. Okay, so this is your equality insertion. Like here you may make, or you may make any changes in like when it is coming to your formulas, you can make this as a term. What this equality actually means that it is not a formula, it is the term that we are making the substitutions in all. Okay, it is not either X or Y. This is a term that is made for the substitution. Okay, thank you.